But damn, bro, there's always some type of creature out here, man. It's been a little minute since I picked up the camera and really just talked to y'all. Uh, sadly, I don't have my like my little stick thing. My what the fuck is it called? A tripod. Tripod. So right now I'm in like a garden, but there's nowhere to like post it as of now. I'm waiting for this dude to leave to like a finesse his spot. Like, yeah, so where I live at, it's basically like a community and everyone has like their own section of a garden. It's hella cool. So there's like literally 20 gardens, like mini gardens. This one looks busted, but there's one that looks so nice. It has like seats and shit, but there's someone across from it. So if I sneak in, he's going to see me. So that's what I'm waiting for. It's so cool. I'm gonna show you all the spot that I wish I could uh, go into. So yeah, there's like a bunch of little gardens and shit, and everyone has their own space. I like this one a lot. I specifically want that spot because I don't even know if you can see me, but I specifically want that spot because there's like I don't know if y'all seen there's like a bench and chairs. Yeah, it's so crazy though. Everyone kind of looks at me a little funny because I'm like younger, I guess. So basically, mostly older people live here, but my mom's a little older, so, like, I get to live here, duh. Um, but I think it just kind of throws them off guard that, like, there's, like, a 20, 21-year-old just walking around. I'm all active and shit. I don't know. They're active, too, though, bro. They be out here. People think that old people don't do shit, bro. Man, they be getting to it. Hey, my nigga. What's Gucci? You done this shit trying to fight me or what? What's up, bro? I don't think bro's gonna leave the spot I want. So I'm just walking around. I didn't go to the gym today because I'm planning on just going to the exercise room. I don't know if I told you I was drinking carrot juice and then some celery juice because I literally kind of just woke up. It's already like, when I have my watch on me, I'm like, it's already about to be four. So I was like, man, I'm not really that hungry right now, but just to like get something inside of me, I think I'm gonna go sit on this tree and talk to you. You know how you'd be sitting down on the tree, bro, and then all the ants start eating your ass and shit? I don't think there's no ass on this tree though. We good. Something I kind of been dealing with recently is like, well, I got diagnosed with ADHD and I just want to like break down a lot of misconceptions about ADHD. I think that like a lot of people just think ADHD just means that you run around everywhere and you don't know how to chill and relax and shit. It's like, that's not really what it means. It's crazy. I, I kind of suspected that I had it just because like, just the way that my life wasn't uh, progressing. Like a lot of things in my life became stagnant. Like I just couldn't do things. Um, simple tasks like getting up out of the bed, going to take a shower, make breakfast, I couldn't do. Every morning for the like the last semester I've had, there was not, I think maybe I've had one or two mornings in like that whole four month period of a semester where I actually woke up and, and woke up at a, the time I was supposed to wake up. And you know what I mean? Like went to bed on time, woke up on time and then got to class on time, ate breakfast. There was probably one or two times that actually happened. Uh, most of the time it was me, if I had class at 11.15, it was me waking up at 10.40 and trying to get it together in 25 minutes. And also like, you feel me? Like just very discombobulated, miscombobulated, whatever the word is. And I didn't think too much of it at first until like it kind of just progressed and like, you know, <clears throat> months went by and I was like, all right, bro. Like, we're gonna wake up today, we're gonna go to school, we're gonna like, you know, wake up early, have breakfast. We're gonna wake up early, have breakfast, have a good day, blah, 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 right? And I couldn't, like, I, I, I just couldn't. Like, when my alarm went off, I could not get up. Um, I couldn't go to sleep on time. Even when I would go to sleep, like, early, like, at 11, 12, I would not get up. Like, my, my drive and my motivation to do things was just completely gone i don't like i really don't know how i got through the semester um i think it was just like willpower i guess i don't know but it was very very tough and not even just like with school like anything bro like if i had a doctor's appointment i would i don't think i made i haven't made it to an appointment in months on time and that's wild to say that like you know what i'm saying like every appointment i've had i've just been late to it and um yeah like if that's happening to you like that's not normal especially when you when deep down like you want to like i want to get there on time i want to wake up but i just can't like something is like blocking me you know that's definitely a symptom of uh, adhd the medication has changed my life i i really hate to say that and i think it's because like i'm so against the pharmaceutical industry and and uh i'm very very like pro natural pro do it without but like personally that's also a reason i didn't really seek the help um, as 
as promptly as I should have because I was like, oh, nah, fuck that. Like, I don't want to, I don't need to be on meds, you know, I can fix this myself. And, like, I just couldn't. Um, I'm not saying it's not doable for anyone else, but for me personally, like, I was tired of suffering. So I literally, I was like, bro, give me the damn medication. And that shit, like, bro, I had been on a standstill. Um, just my motivation overall, the, you know, innovative ideas that I used to have and just, like, my, just me being myself, my personality and everything was just gone. And then I took the medication the first day and I made a song and I, I, I felt motivated. Like, I wanted to do things. It was basically, like, night and day. The day I took the medication, I was like, what the fuck? This is what... This, this is what I was supposed to feel like. It doesn't make me feel like, oh, I'm like, don't think, oh, he's he's high, he's tweaking. Uh, is that an ant? I think I'm gonna change location because there's ants in this bitch. As I was saying, a lot of people just assume that people with ADHD who take Adderall are just like, oh, that fool's just high now. Like, I'm geeking, like, no. Like, Adderall literally just makes me feel like how I was supposed to be feeling the entire time. Like, it kind of brings me back to homeostasis. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that something I was so against is actually doing what it's supposed to do um now i'm not trying to promote it in the sense that like oh you should just hop on adderall and stay on it forever because my goal with this is like i just needed something to get me back on track i'm not trying to stay on adderall for the rest of my life i literally just needed something to kind of show me like what i was supposed to be doing because honestly like ever since i had my um well ever since i went off tea and then had the egg retrieval surgery like that whole process was a lot um it took me over a year to fully recover from it um and that is insane to say because i went off to may of 2021 it is now june of 2022 and i am barely barely back on track and i mean that with my whole heart like you know a couple months ago i was getting there but still like i did not feel like myself i wasn't doing the things that i was doing pre going off tea and ultimately being on tea i mean being off tea threw me off of all my routine like even in the gym my intensity completely diminished like i kind of forgot how to push myself because you know i was off tea still going to the gym right but every week and every month that i would go to the gym off tea getting more and more off tea um i would get weaker and weaker usually i go in there one week i'm benching 180 all right next week i bench 190 this is when i'm on tea right uh, I, I keep progressing is what I'm saying and then to go off tea and instead of progressing now I'm reverting you feel me so my new norm was okay I'm, I'm weak like in my head I'm like I'm weak because I was literally getting weak losing weight I think I lost 25 pounds it was just a lot so what I'm trying to say is all of my routine the gym got thrown off I wasn't eating as much because my appetite was shot I felt lethargic all the time my motivation was down I wasn't making YouTube videos and if I did make a YouTube video it was probably about my egg retrieval it, everything was just fucked then to be put back on tea and just expect me to bounce back that's not at all what happened i i thought that your first tea shot was gonna just like empower me and i was gonna be back to myself and i really wasn't like that first of all because even though i took that tea shot right after the egg retrieval surgery and everything right i took that first tea shot september 2021 um i still looked feminine as fuck because it takes months that's why it took over a year for me to get to this point because it takes months for that testosterone to really be running through your system and make you look as masculine as you should be looking you know what i'm saying so um it's just been a lot of change and sometimes man you can't you can't get back on routine and that's what it is you know and it sucks that i have to admit that um that i couldn't get myself back on track but that's what the fuck it is because i did go through a lot and i have to also be mindful of that like it's not just me being lazy it's not just me not trying because trust me i fucking tried like tried bro like i i just could not get myself out of that hole like at this point at that point at this point whatever it, it, it was depression it was just bad feelings bro like depression and anxiety um those are also common symptoms of adhd bro because like you know you want to do tasks you want to be yourself you want to you know get back on your routine but you can't so what is that what is that what does that make it makes you depressed as fuck because you want to do good and you can't so of course you don't get depressed like damn why can't i do this and you start beating yourself up about the shit and that's what i did for a long ass time um i'm barely now starting to kind of like forgive myself and tell myself bro like you're trying the best you fucking can like i really doubt bro that you're trying to 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 stay stagnant and not progress on purpose like what like nah especially me because i know myself like i'm a driven ass motherfucker and like i want more at, in all circumstances so i don't I, i'm not okay with being mediocre i am not okay with 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 being average and that's just what it is and that's also part of the why part of the reason why i was so hard on myself which really put me in a deep depression 
uh, anxiety also came with that because a lot of, another thing a lot of people don't know about ADHD is it's also um, I'm really I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm bad because I know I can get better but I have a hard time socializing and uh, just interacting with other people um, literally bro I was not able to talk to people that much before before I, I was on Adderall um, you know what I mean like just to meet someone and have a conversation with them I was very like short I'd be like oh uh, and then just cut that shit off and it wasn't because I wanted to it was just because I did not have the mental capacity to be social um, and I know that it's literally my ADHD bro because I took the Adderall right and I had this teacher man she's like hella cool my sociology teacher right and uh I had her before we didn't really talk that much in the prior class that I took her but like when we did talk it was cool like there was definitely some some chemistry there you know what I'm saying and then the second class I took her we like would chop it up you know during the class right but we never actually had an opportunity to connect like that and truthfully it was my anxiety like bro I wouldn't want to like raise my hand and just like cause she would be saying some hella relatable shit or just something that stood out to me and I would want to speak on it and kind of like you know just converse like as a human should and bro like i would want to raise my hand in class and something would just like not let me bro like my anxiety would just be like so crippling i just couldn't i got prescribed at all like my last uh week of uh this semester just graduated too you feel me got my associates in psychology yeah whatever but actually it's not whatever uh congratulate me in the comments if y'all fuck with me appreciate you appreciate you because this shit this shit i don't even know what the fuck it took for me to to get this associate's degree, man. It's been a long ass time coming, I, that's all I can say. But yeah, so I took the ID, right? Last week of class, bro. Tell me why. Bro, the last day of class, actually, I walk up in there and at the end of class, my social anxiety ass walked up to her and, and started a conversation. That shit might seem little to y'all, but like to me, that was just like an eye opener, bro, because I don't talk to people like, for me to walk up to a teacher and start talking to them like i don't do that shit so yeah i don't know like it just kind of showed me like bro i've really been in a hole man like a depressive asshole bro because like how do i get on adderall bro and i feel like myself again like it's not even like i feel like i'm high and i'm oh, i'm on an addy like i feel like myself bro like this is like it ain't the addy that's doing like it is but like it's also me bro like it just helps me express myself and be myself 100 percent yeah man if y'all know anybody with adhd or you think you have it um i would like, suggest to go get diagnosed as well because i had to take a lot of tests and a bunch of like different precautionary steps because they're not just going to prescribe me adderall like i had to fill out a packet um literally just have therapy sessions blah 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 right so but i just want y'all to kind of open your mind and realize people with ADHD are all around you and it's even way more than I'm even mentioning right here like there's a lot of other things that come with it um, but those are some of the main ones that were interfering with my life but yeah people with ADHD aren't just hyperactive maniacs bro like we're people and we just have difficulty uh, like sticking with things like being on time staying on track organization all that type of shit right and um, yeah man like we're not lazy a lot of misconceptions man I think bro finally finally left. I'm gonna go try to sneak in now. There's a guy on a wheelchair with squirrels around him and he's playing with the squirrels. That's cool as fuck. But yeah, yo, at this point, this is just like a come kick it with me for a bit. I don't think bro leaving. I don't think bro leaving. I think I'm gonna just uh, head to the exercise room already. But I'm definitely gonna finesse that spot right there. made it to the exercise room. I didn't really feel like hitting the gym just because like, I literally, it's just leg day. Oh. <laughs> I sound like such a fucking bro. It's just leg day, so I can skip that shit. I'ma just hit some legs, uh, maybe some shoulders, just whatever I'm really feeling. So this thing that they have here, it's like um, no crust on my shit. Y'all ignore that. So this machine is basically like, um, it's like the all-in-one, so like, you can hit your biceps right there. You got bicep curl thing. You got chest press, um, back flies. There's even the leg press machine connected, um, pull downs. If people end up coming in here, I don't know what to tell y'all. Cause this is like a community workout room. So.
couldn't figure out the leg press machine, but uh, just to hit my legs, I did some cardio. I just ran a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'm not going too heavy because first of all, all I drank was carrot and celery juice. Basically, this is fasted cardio slash workout, which is cool, but I ain't trying to pass out as well. So yeah. Uh, and then now I'm about to go to the store and I'm gonna try this uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram You saw I posted those simply lemonades. I'm about to go see what's up with those They're like 12 bucks at Ralph's so If y'all are 21 or your mama or your daddy gonna buy them for you. They have Ralph's for $12 Damn bro, there's only one of these hoes I got the last one Damn y'all, it's been a minute. I hope y'all kind of understand uh, What was going on inside my mind? Everything I've said, you know, medication and getting diagnosed is not the, the answer. I mean, it is the answer, but it's not the one cure to everything. Uh, it's still a lot of behavioral changes that I have to make, and I'm still a work in progress, basically. So, yeah, but I definitely feel better about myself now. I'm looking more masculine. I don't know if I can see the chin hairs chinning. I may have seen them probably when I was talking throughout this video. We're getting there. We're getting there. Appreciate y'all for watching. I feel like I say this in every video, but this is just the beginning. Go fuck with my music. Put my put my shit in the put my songs in the bio below. It's not shit. It's fine. Check that out. Support me. Thank y'all for everything. I'm just a continuous support. And if you ain't subscribed to me, you're just a hater, bro. But I know you a fan, low key. Haters are really fans.